Hello guys and welcome to the channel. So in our previous video we calculate the FPS for our inferencing. So in this video we are going to calculate the dwell time of a person inside the frame. So now let's talk about what dwell time is. So dwell time is basically it's the total time of a person or any object inside the frame. Which means let's say a person enters a frame at 9 am and leaves the frame at 9.15. So in this case we can see the total dwell time of that person was 15 minutes as he was 15 minutes inside the frame. Now to calculate this, so calculation is very simple for dwell time. So in our code, we already have the tracking running for us and the tracker simply assigns a unique object ID to all the persons detected. So based on this tracker ID, we will start a timer. So what we are going to do is, so first of all, we will create a list in our code in which we will save all the object IDs given by our tracker. So let's say the tracker has given us the zeros object ID. So we will first check whether this ID is present in the list or not. If it is present, if it is not present, we will save the object ID and we will also start a timer for this ID. Next, in the next iteration, we will check whether the ID is present or not. If the ID is present, we will simply keep on updating the time. So basically we will first extract the old time which we saved and then we will subtract it with the new time, with the current time. And then we will simply add the difference of the time in a new uh, list you can say and then we will simply keep on updating this every time in case we receive a new object id from the tracker we will add it again and then we'll start the timer again and then simply keep on updating the time difference as well so this is how we are going to calculate the dual time so uh, i already have the code open and so let's get started okay so first of all we need to create a list a list of all the object IDs given by our tracker. So for that I will first include list here hash include list and I will also use the standard namespace. Okay now after that so basically if you look at the code so this is where everything is happening so i will will probably going to put all our logic inside this for loop but we first need to create the list so i'll uh, create the list here list and uh, we are going to keep it integer because we are going to save the object ids in it and i will name it as object id list perfect so now we have created the list now we need to check whether any received object id from the tracker tracker is present in our list or not so i'll put a code here and uh, i'll use bool and i'll use the variable as found so we are go basically going to use find and we will find the object id in object id list starting from the beginning till the object id ends object id list dot end and what we are looking we are looking for the object id um, so here i also want to mention so i've renamed this so it was previously detector in the code so i've renamed this to person because we are basically tracking the person Perfect. So this is done. Uh, so this basically bool it will give us false if there is a new object ID. It will be true if the object ID is already present in the list. So let's go ahead and if found is false, this means new object ID. And in the else, it means object id is already present so in case we have received a new object id what we need to do is we simply need to push this object id in our object id list okay and we will also start a timer for it so uh, for the time uh, for timing purpose we are going to use a chrono clock let me include the chrono first so 
so here I'm going to take a start time variable which will be which will basically contain the start time of that particular object ID and I'm going to take a high resolution clock and we will get the current time now we also need to create two unordered maps uh, which will hold the values for one for the dwell time and one for the the start time so let's do that as well so here I will create the unordered map unordered map and um, so in basically in unordered map we have uh, so initial thing we'll keep it as int and uh, so we are creating this for the for the dual time so I'll take it as duration so chrono because this will basically hold the value of the duration and its type will be double let's name it as dual time u map and we will create another unordered map list this will hold the value for the start time so we will so first parameter will be integer because int is our object id and next will be simply the high resolution clock and we will name it as let's say d time u map so we are done here now I will so whatever object ID the new object ID we have received we have started its time and we have saved its time in this D time U map as well okay so this is done and I think uh, yes so now so let's say any new object ID has come so this will give us false once it is false it will go inside this so that particular object ID will be saved inside the object ID list and we will also add a time for that uh, object ID in D time U map now in the next iteration that particular object ID for that particular object ID it will be true so we will go into the else condition and here we need to calculate the difference between difference between this time and the current time so for that uh, so for that we will use current time okay so here we have the current time and we also need to extract the older time as well which we which we saved while adding the object ID in the list I'll name it as old time and we will get this old time from D time U map okay now here we need to calculate the difference between these two times so I will again take the duration so I'll use the chrono duration here chrono duration and that will be in double okay I'll name it as time difference and this will be basically current time minus old time okay so now we have calculated the time difference here we need to simply add this in the dual time u map which we created so for that we will simply take the dual time u map with the object id currently we have and i'll use plus equals to time difference okay so this is where we are getting the time difference and we're adding the time difference in dual time u map now uh, this is done so we have uh, got our time difference and we just need to display it so for display purpose we will use this put text and uh, here is a variable string variable text and what we'll do is we'll simply uh, initialize another global variable here let's say 
int r equals to 0 and we will mention here r equals to int and dwell time umap person dot object id now this r will basically hold no one second so dwell time person object id i think we need to add dot count here yes so this r will basically hold our uh, dwell time for that particular object id and using this r we will simply display it in uh, we are we are, we are basically added this dwell time in this variable text and we are displaying that text on the put text so this should work fine let's uh, build this and let's quickly test this as well so i'll clean the solution okay so we have an error uh, i think we missed the semicolon yes i knew it let's rebuild it build succeeded let's run this so it has started our test video file and okay looks like there are some issues because the time is getting displayed but it's uh, it's running like milliseconds it's not in seconds we'll have to check the code okay so i've got the problem here so what we are doing is we are here calculating the current time and we are then uh, extracting the older time which we saved here and then we are calculating the time difference but we are not updating our old time so we need to add one more uh, line here and that particular line will be d time u map person dot object id is equals to current time okay current time so we also need to keep on updating our older time with the current time and then only it will uh, display the exact seconds so let's run it again so the test video file is up and again it's there are some some bug is there let me resolve it Oops. Okay, let's see how it goes this time. So the lady is coming and now it's working perfect. It's calculating the time perfectly fine. So as you can see here in the time it shows 8, 9, 10, 11 which is basically the dwell time of this particular lady inside the frame so this much time this particular lady has spent inside the frame now let's wait for uh, other persons to come in our uh, test video okay here we go so detecting tracking and the time has been started so you can see for both the persons the time is working perfectly fine 7 8 9 10 11 so this this code is working like charm so it's calculating the dwell time perfectly fine so in this way you can calculate the dwell time of a person inside uh, inside a frame so this so i guess that's all for this video uh, thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to the channel